Hey guys, Cubehamster here with a how to use video for the Stride I released today. If you didn't see my video, there's a link in the description leading to a, a cinematic video that took me quite a long time to, uh, to record, but I think it turned out pretty well. Um, but yeah, this video is just to quickly show you how to operate the Strider. Uh, it's a uh, spider robot, uh, eight legged obviously, and it has a couple of weapons and a start stop engine. Uh, it's not as like, there's not that many controls uh, compared to like some of my previous robots, but the, yeah, this project basically started in March and it took me quite a while to get it to the size and like appearance that I wanted it to be. Hence why it took a bit longer for me to release this. Uh, but the idea is that you, uh, you get a boat. Uh, let's look for a boat. Boat, there we go. And this is basically where the cockpit would be. And you can hop on the boat and use a flint and steel on the redstone block behind you. And once you do that, uh, this thing will start moving. And once you want it to stop, every time that the redstone block pushes forward, you have a, a pretty large window to, uh, to click it. So like it moves forward and then after that you click it again and it almost immediately stops. Uh, so that's the start stop engine. Um, walking animation is quite cool. It's inspired by, by how spiders actually walk in real life. Oh, I see there's a block missing here. That's weird. Let's quickly, quickly fix that. It's missing a leg. There we go. Um, so that's the start stop engine. Uh, now it has some weapons as well. It has two missiles. Uh, these are kind of similar to the ones that I'm trying to implement in uh, Missile Wars 2, which is a work in progress at the moment. These, are, um, these missiles are called uh, the cruiser cruiser missiles. Um, they're they're f basically as fast as the lightning, and they are inspired by uh, a missile that was created by Dominus Zork. Uh, he's another like slime block uh, engineer, I could say. <laughs> Uh, I'll put a link in the description to his channel. He does quite cool stuff. I highly recommend you check him out. Um, but yeah, those are there. And you can toggle them. There's a toggle up here. Uh, it's like a, a switch. Uh, you have to stand still when you fire them. Basically, you use a flint and steel. And it will fire the uh, first one. And as you can see, it is quite fast. And uh, like when you click a second time, it will launch the second one. But you can also like fire one and walk. And then stop again and fire it. Uh, and these missiles, uh, I forget, I don't know, if they hit a wall, oh, uh, there's actually a, a double, a double trigger, so two teen TVs trigger, and the explosion is uh, is quite large. I think there's like 17 TNT on there or something. So, as in the video, like uh, it literally blew up the Mechmeister. McMaster, uh, 9 million uh, from one of my previous video in one go. There was no like extra TNT added to that. Um, so it's quite good. Now, so that's the missiles. And then after that, you can continue walking again. It's like a, a gap where the missiles is now. It's not it's not reloadable right now. Uh, you won't, you're gonna have to do some, some tweaks for that. Uh, but you're probably better off just um, <laughs> basically reloading the schematic. Uh, let me quickly make it not so dark. There we go. Um, that's not the only weapon. It also has uh, the Argus Fish autocannon. <laughs> that's like an old design. Uh, it's like a movable piece of, ar of artillery. And this is a, a spam-proof autocannon. So I'm like holding my right mouse right now. And uh, this is how fast it actually fires. I'm not clicking, I'm just holding my mouse. Uh, you can't, you can't like shoot while moving, um, but shooting, shooting while moving is actually not that useful. Uh, that's what Gargantua had. It has its uses, but like if you want to keep on like spamming TNT, then standing still and firing is quite a lot better. Uh, it fires TNT like 30 blocks, so it's quite far. And uh, I have a separate like schematic for the cannon if you want to implement it somewhere else. 
Uh, I have a separate video on that, which you can also find in the description. Uh, but yeah, so much for this video. Again, if you didn't see the, the uh, cinematic, I highly recommend you check it out. And like any other things that are important should be in the description of the video. Um, so yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and I will see you all later. Bye bye.